Well, a Kenyan conservancy is seeking funding to save a rare white rhino species. The Arpeggiata Conservancy, which hosts uh, three of the world's uh, remaining white rhinos, is working to get a new generation born and has launched its Make a Rhino campaign to help raise the funds. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. Nejin and Fatu are two of the last four northern white rhinos left on the planet. The two are females and live at the old Pajeta Ranch in Nanyuki, Kenya, where they share 90,000 acres of private wildlife conservancy land with only one male, known as Sudan. The rhinos live under 24-hour armed guard at the wildlife sanctuary to protect them from poachers. The northern white rhino once roamed parts of Uganda, Chad, Sudan, Central African Republic, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, but they are now considered to be extinct in the wild. Attempts to breed the rhinos have proven unsuccessful, and extinction is imminent. In an effort to save the species, Old Pajeta is partnering with scientists to develop reproduction through in vitro fertilization, which will be the first time the procedure is performed on a rhino. We hope to be able to, um, to take the eggs from the remaining females, uh, to mix uh, their eggs with sperm from um, stored sperm from various different northern white rhinos that's been collected over the past five or ten years um, to create embryos which would then be implanted into surrogate southern white rhino females. The ranch hopes to raise about 800,000 US dollars to fund the research to develop the new breeding techniques. In the latest campaign, a cricket tournament was held. Teams of Maasai warriors played against British Army training unit based in Kenya. Players spend time with Sudan, who is the last northern white male rhino in the world capable of breeding. Scientists say Sudan's sperm count is low, but DNA from northern whites has been saved in a sperm bank in hopes that new technologies could save them from extinction. Without the money, it's impossible to develop the science that's necessary to create the embryos that will eventually save the species. So we have to raise the money first, and then we'll develop the protocol and the technique for making it happen. About 20,000 southern white rhinos remain in the wild, and studies are underway to determine if they are close enough genetically to serve as maternal surrogates. Poaching across sub-Saharan Africa is rising, and Kenya's parliament has passed strict anti-poaching laws. The government has ramped up security at parks to stop poaching, which threatens the vital tourism industry. What's happening today to the northern white rhino and the fact that we've got down to um, you know, the last remaining four northern white rhinos left in the world is simply a signal to what is happening to the planet as a whole. Kenya has also started using high-tech surveillance equipment, including drones, like this one seen here, to track poaching gangs and to keep tabs on wildlife in national parks. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.